And so you, you, you grew up realizing you were fat. Did you feel unhappy with yourself once you realized you were fat? I, be, I became more upset about myself and more like, um, you know, uh, I guess ashamed and sad and, and like, you know, uh, something was wrong. Mostly when I was like, after I graduated high school. Oh, really? And the reason for that is because in, in school, and in middle school, and uh, in, in like, uh, you know, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, you know, all those, all those grades. Uh, like, they, there was like kids who were mean, right? Like, they, they would call me fat or whatever, and you know, uh, but it wasn't, like, kids were still nicer. I mean, people were, I mean, people were more innocent when they're right. around that age. So I, it was easier to talk to girls my age when I was around that age, and right. especially like during uh, middle school and, and high school, right. because, um, they were more, you know, they were more innocent. And when someone is more innocent, they're generally, you know, more kinder and receptive right. and, and things of that nature. And so, like, that's, that's actually one of the main problems with, with incels and, and like location cells, right? Um, or like incels in general, is that when women get not innocent anymore, like when they, when they sleep around with a lot of men, uh, they're not very nice or receptive anymore. They, right. they, have, they develop a lot of problems. And there's, there's like a lot of various reasons for that. But like, um, so the so when I grew up, um, and I became 18, and suddenly I was thrown into a world where there wasn't any innocent people, especially in LA. There's <laughs> no one who's innocent in LA. Right. You know? That's right. Uh, uh, I realized that you know the world is a lot darker and grimmer and harder than 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 I thought it was yeah. when I was a child. At at first I was like really desperate, like be like I was really desperate to find a girlfriend, and I would do all I could to uh, try and do that. And what I would do is I, I downloaded a bunch of dating apps and I downloaded a bunch of different things. And I would, um, well, at first I wasn't extremely desperate. I was just like, I was like, oh, I, I, I'm 18 now. I, I should be able to get a girlfriend relatively easily. And um, I'm sure everything will be fine. I'll just download and a you dating you were fat app. at the time. I was, well, I was more fat than I was now. Okay. Yeah. I, at, at the peak of my... Uh, fatness, I was like 330 pounds. That's amazing. Yeah. So wow. I mean, and so you're thinking now I'm 18, 19. I'm gonna go for a girl. Yeah. Like I like I'm done with I'm done with high school. Uh, I'll I'll go look for a girlfriend. I'll look for a job. I'll I'll try. Maybe I'll go to college. Yeah. Uh, all those different things. And so uh, I downloaded a lot of dating apps. Um, and because I was I'm relatively good at speaking with people. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of people say, oh, you're just like a lot of people talk, tell incels that they're um, awkward. And I mean, a lot of them are awkward and a lot of them can't communicate very well. Right. And, you know, that's just for various reasons. Like I can get into that, like into a lot of detail later. But I downloaded all these dating apps and, and, I, and I did go out and I, and I tried to talk to women and, and things of that nature. And, and, you know, women were, were nice and receptive, but none of them wanted to be in a relationship or date me. And I was just like... I'll just keep trying. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea, right? You gotta <laughs> right. just keep trying. Yeah. So I kept trying and I kept trying for months and months and months and months and months and months and just kept trying for months. And then slowly that builds in your mind. You're like, why is no one saying yes to me? It's like, right. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I wasn't like, I mean, yeah, I was fat, but I was still taking care of myself. You know, I, I, I was trimmed. I took a shower every day. Um, I was, I was, I was nice, you know, uh, all those things. Uh, I was, I was, I could talk decently well, but nothing ever seemed to work out. And I was like, uh, what's wrong? Am I, am I ugly? Like what's, what's happening here? And it just kept happening for months upon months. And so that made me very depressed yeah. and it made me very, uh, angry. I was like, what's wrong? What is going on here? And eventually that did lead me down a path of, of finding a website called uh, 4chan, oh, yeah. right? And yeah. on 4chan, there's a board, uh, an image board called R9K, which means Robot 9000. And I went on that image board, board and I found there were other, mostly young men, but uh, and they were talking about similar problems. They were like, oh, I can't find a girlfriend. You know, everything in my life seems, seems wrong. Some people were a lot more depressed than I was, and some people, and uh, there are a lot of people who, have it a lot worse than I do, by yeah. the way. There's a lot right. of young boys who are suffering a lot and they need help. Uh, 
a lot more than I do. I mean, I think I need help as well, but I think that they need a lot more help right. than I do. Uh, so I, I, I went down this rabbit hole and I found a lot of uh, uh, what they would call like red pills about, uh, uh, about like women and, and the sexual market and things of that nature. And, and um, uh, I became very like dark and, and, and uh, hateful and resentful of women at the time. At the time, I was like 18. And I did, at the time, hate women, right? Yeah. Like, at the time, I did, I, I figured that all women were like this. Because yeah. in my experience, yeah. all women yeah. were like that. Yeah. But um, as so, I... So let me ask, did the women tell you, all these women you met online, you would meet them in person, right? I wouldn't meet all of them in person, but I would meet, uh, I would... Like, I wouldn't meet the ones online in person, but I would also go out oh. to just, you know, events or different... Uh, right. Um, the, like social occasions, and I would and I would talk to women, and you know. Would they ever out. tell you why they didn't want to date you? Um, sometimes they would just say like, you know, you're not my type. I have I have had some one, <laughs> one girl say, you know, I was too short. Actually, multiple girls tell me I was too short. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, nobody ever mentioned my weight. But in my I I kind of like knew, yeah. especially from uh, from the internet that I was like. It's kind of my weight, isn't it? It's like, it's like, like it's probably a lot. It's probably has to do with my weight as, as well. So there's, there actually, it's funny I mentioned my weight again because there are going to be some people who are going to see this. Maybe like incels who might uh, uh, recognize, let's say, my name on the forum later on, right. which I might talk about, um, and they're going to be like, oh, he's a fake cell because uh, he's a fat cell. <laughs> and and a fat, they say fat cells are fake cells because fat cells might have a good bone structure. Like I might have a good bone structure underneath my face, or like I might have a lot of loose skin. But after I reach my goal weight, which might be let's say a year from now, right. you know, from the constant working out and progressing, right. I'm, I'm probably going to be relatively skinny by hopefully even next uh, summer. Right. Um, uh, there's going to be people who are going to say. Oh, by that time, he's not even going to be a location cell. He's going to be a vol cell in LA. He's going to be a Chad Light or whatever, you know. So, uh, and, and 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 it's just like, but that's not necessarily. It's not like a fair thing to say because there are average. There are guys who are better looking than me, who have problems in places like this. Right. There's 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 uh, right. who who are incels as well. There are men who are taller than me who are incel in places like this or in other places around the world, like London, for example. There's a lot of incels in London. There's a lot of Asian incels in places like this as well. They're for various different reasons. Are uh, incels mostly white people? I would say that most white incels... White guys? I would say that most incels are like white men, mostly young white men, but um, there are uh, quite a few Asians and Indians and uh, there are a few black incels, but they're not that common. Right. Um, and what age group do they normally range from what to what? I would say that like most incels are probably between the age of like 16 to 25. Oh, okay. Um, now there are obviously some who are older and right. there's some who maybe even they find out younger, but. And so at some point you decided I am an incel. Yeah. And so you decided I want women, I want to have sex, but I'm giving it up. I'm not going to even try it anymore. Well, no, that's, that's not what incel means. Incel means that you want it and you try to get it, but you can't get it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you're constantly, you, you, you go out there. And so that, that's what I was uh, alluding to when I was 18 and when I was getting desperate, is that eventually I got so desperate that I decided I'm going to have no standards at all. I'm just, I'm going to go for any, I'm going to go for old women, ugly women, women who, you know, they look like monsters. I'm going to, I'm going to go for them. And, uh, Amazing. Yeah. So have you ever had sex? No. You never had sex? No. Have you given up? No. You still trying? Uh, I mean, now that I'm, I'm I, I have become a, a, a Christian, I, I, I'm, I'm trying, but I'm trying to find a woman who would marry me first, you know? Oh, okay. Because like, I, I, want, I want a relationship with a, with a woman who's also like a virgin and stable. There's a lot of insults right. who are like that as well, because yeah. there, there is a lot of uh, studies and, and um, just different data that show that um, women who have had no sexual, uh, you know, no sexual acts with another person, uh, they tend to be the most stable, uh, 
in terms of a relationship partner. That makes like, sense. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's funny how Christianity, they tell you that don't, uh, you know, don't have sex before marriage because, you know, it's bad, right? It's yeah. a sin. So, uh, and the science says the same exact thing. The science says if you have sex before marriage, with multiple different people, especially from men have problems as well, but, but women experience more problems from having premarital sex yes. than men. Um, they develop a lot of mental issues yeah. and, they, and they, they aren't really um, good relationship partners and they don't make very good decisions in choosing their partners right. either because of these um, situations. So how did you feel when you were turned out by old women, ugly women, <laughs> and, and all that? Like what did that, that feel like? That made me really depressed. I was, I was <laughs> like, I was shocked. I was like, at a, at a point I was like, surely, okay, maybe women my age don't want me, but I'm sure like maybe the ugly women will want me, right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe the, the old women will want me, you know, all these. So I'm like, oh, I just, I just want, I just want someone to like me, but. And what would they say, the old and ugly, what would they say? Um, well, they, um, they would just turn me down, I guess, you really? know, they would just turn me down. 